defense of Ole Miss has been the area that has really caused opponents problems, that man-to-man -man pressure, and they can switch. Shot up and in, Haley Van Lith with the first points. Ole Miss starting lineup, we are used to seeing Snitta Collins in this starting lineup. We are told that she may not play today due to a coach's decision. Kennedy, Todd Williams, and Madison Scott. Anissa Mora going in the paint. Morrow shaking off the defense. Whenever the lights are on. It was a really physical contest yesterday with Auburn, even though it was a 30-point win for LSU. Marquisha Davis came out with a black eye. Flage! They get to know each other. You only have two starters that have returned from that national championship team. Madison Scott over to Kennedy Todd Williams. She saves it back to Scott. And a three-point play. Oh, they have to be happy about this because when you're getting this kind of effort for number 24. Van Lith for two. Reese up for the offensive rebound. And Ibakwe blocked it. It's their identity. It's their DNA. And not only play defense, you got to love playing defense. Pretty shot from Flage in the short corner. Marquisha Davis, the speed. Oh, the shake, the bank, the bucket. Understand, in playing Ole Miss, you've got to protect the paint. Look at Anissa Morrow go. Flage for three. Okay, Flage Johnson got so much confidence, she let it go and headed the other end. Anissa Morrow with the steal. And the floater! She's got eight. Richardson running in transition too far under the basket. Up ahead to Reese. Around Madison Scott, and there are the first points for the SEC Player of the Year. Seven rebounds in the first quarter. We will talk to her head coach, Kim Mulkey, when we come back. And that's what Kim Mulkey and talking to her this morning. She's not a fan of conference tournaments uh, and because she feels like it can only hurt your positioning. She wants to make sure that this team is peaking at the right time when it comes to NCAA tournament time. They did that last year and they won a national championship. Bounces around and out for Flossie Johnson. And Marquisha Davis finally a field goal for the Rebels. And bring it number two in blue. Erquisha can make it happen for the Rebels. Marquisha Ooh. or uh, Anissa Morrow is just putting in work. That's 10 points, double figures for Anissa Morrow. She had 10 points yesterday against Auburn. She is 10 points, not even a quarter and a half into this game. Janae Kent looking for anything. Four seconds. Van Lith, the one, two, bounce. He was turning the other direction before the ball actually went through the hoop. Madison Scott will take that and do it with a swish. Now Scott can't wait until the fourth quarter to get going like she did yesterday. Angel Reese through contact. Almost lost it. There are two players down. Rita Ibakwe is still down for Ole Miss on the other end. And Marquisha Davis limping down the court. Now LSU has gone with a big lineup. You have Anissa Morrow, Aaliyah Del Rosario, and Angel Reese. And Madison Scott just shoots over it. So you see Morrow now playing a three because you've got to find some way to find minutes to rest Flage Johnson. Morrow to Reese. Madison Scott, that gets her into double figures with 11, 13 points, a season high 15 rebounds. Brooke, I was surprised she told <laughs> you she didn't play well. I mean, an unbelievably selfless player as Foe goes for three. Getting a hug from our, our boy Hayes. 
so cool to see, too, her family, her mom and her sister in oh the stands. Oh, my gosh. Stevenson to go over and go ahead and shoot the blank thing. <laughs> Kind of like that, Zakaya Stevenson, the freshman. <laughs> Janae Kent misses. Madison Scott, yes, with the pull up. She gave Ole Miss some good minutes yesterday. They needed her to come in and handle the ball, run this offense, and she did as a true freshman. And the take from Janae Kent keep it moving around so that she was able to play in this second half. For Ole Miss offensively, what do you want to see here? The Rebels shooting 31% from the field. That's a good sign for Madison Scott. And the amount of minutes that LSU's starters are going to have to play. It will be a huge advantage for Ole Miss to pick up the tempo of this game. All right, Angel Reese, there's that double-double. Look, for LSU to advance, try to get to Cleveland, she's going to have to knock down these kind of shots. No miss bringing some pressure. Try to force some turnovers. There it is, Marquisha Davis with the steal. And the bucket, 12 points now. Back to Madison Scott. Five seconds. Kennedy Todd Williams, turn around, knocks it down. South Carolina got there with a hero shot from Camila Cardoso. Will they face LSU for a second time? The foul was called, was that on Zakaya Stevenson? Yeah, so that is her third. We want to let you know too, during the last break, they went back and reviewed the foul. Kennedy Todd Williams. Let, listen, you're going to coach the game tonight. And as she's coaching, she sat down the best player on the team, and she told him, look, you don't want to pass the basketball, so you're not going to play. Kaya Stevenson with four, Kennedy Todd Williams with three. Todd Williams at the free throw line. Especially with Angel Reese out of the game, though she just got up, she's heading to the table. Last tier, Polo with the triple. Tweaked that ankle yesterday was questionable coming into this game. Did not go through shoot around. Todd Williams is starting to feel herself a little bit. Had to sub a lot early today in hopes that they are going to be playing tomorrow. Save some of the legs. Ibakwe trying to go up through a triple team. And Madison Scott gets number 24. She's got to be the go-to if she has any plans of take under control. <clears throat> Excuse me, under control. I love to watch her play. I like to watch Erquisha too. CC semifinals are all about big time players making big time plays. Got 12 offensive rebounds. Angel Reese isolated in the paint, just let number 10 go to work. Marquisha Davis hitting the gas, the behind the back pass, she'll get it back and finish. Spicy in transition, that gets Marquisha Davis to 20 points. It's eighth time this season she's hit the 20 point mark, including last two. And Angel Reese just going to work inside, gets the bucket and one. They be the ones to face South Carolina tomorrow. Well, the way we saw Ole Miss play yesterday in that fourth quarter, the potential is there. Flage Johnson finishing through contact. Defense to offense, you got Flage in transition. I love about what that about Flage Johnson. She finished contact, didn't argue with the official. She just got back. She's standing on business. Angel Reese with the steal. Ankle looks fine. Tag and then another steal by the SEC Player of the Year, Angel Reese, coast to coast. Up top to Scott. Scott's got to go to work. Todd Williams will take the three. Crushed it. Johnson, as well as her other teammates, that she was going to be okay. A lot were visibly upset and crying. 
And when Kim Mulkey came over to the huddle, she sat down and got very close to all the players' faces. Oh, and last year, Poa holding her head on the floor underneath the basket. Poa trying to stand up. Angel Reese is basically holding her up right now. Staff helping last tier Poa off the court right now. Rightfully so. How could you not be a player? So much passion, so much love for her teammates. We just really hope that she is okay. Last year, Poa. We'll certainly try to get an update for you on her. An emotional moment, a scary moment for her teammates, for everyone in this gym on both sides. And you see Flajay Johnson, she couldn't bust out of that huddle fast enough. You can tell players now, when you see a teammate like that go down, they want to win this game for her. Madison Scott in transition. Anissa Morrow, McKinney Todd Williams off to the races, up ahead to Stevenson. Swatted away by Flage. She's going to do everything she can to take this team to tomorrow for last year POA. Flaje Johnson, lots of room to work. Now Haley Van Lift picks her up. Second opportunity goes for Todd Williams, 13 points now. Ole Miss, the trap. Floater from Flage. She's on another level right now. Don't have a lot of time. You got to get it to Madison Scott. The kick out to Todd Williams. There you go. That's what they needed. Believable atmosphere going in favor of South Carolina. And we're 10.6 seconds away from the rematch. And on the first half of that game, Camilla Cardoso didn't play well. She got in some foul trouble. Then it was the reverse in the second. It's been a minute. 
since LSU was in the SEC tournament final. They are back for the first time since 2012. We'll get the matchup the nation has been craving. LSU.